Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you a very exciting video, at least for me, because I love her. Um, it will be the Kat Von D, Mi Vida Loca palette. And um, at the end of this video, I will be showing you how I created this look, at least the eye look. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but this is what the packaging of it looks like. Yes, it is a bit big. I, I will admit, it's definitely big. Um, I do have the Shade and Light uh, contour palette and when comparing it to it, yeah, it, it's definitely big. But um, apparently she was inspired by records, so she made it look like a record. And on the back of it, it has a big nice picture of what the palette looks like inside. Now this is just cardboard cover, it does light up the palette, so there's nothing just holding in there, so you do have to be careful. But this whole palette came in a plastic um, cover, and in the plastic cover, and I just put it in here to save it, it has another sheet, same thing, picture of the palette, and just description, all the information on here. And on the back of this, as always, she has a look card. So that's why I kept it. I didn't feel like throwing this out just because, hey, it's, it's part of the palette. So here's what the look card looks like. And I'm sorry you're getting the reflection there in my light. But here's that. So what I did, I just kind of um, put it in the actual sleeve here to save it. Um, but you do have to be a little bit careful because this is slightly bigger than this. So it does kind of angle in there. But you got to be careful if you're going to end up doing that as well. Um, but this is what the palette looks like. Yes, it is already a little dirty. There is a lot of kick up. Um, kick up from when you get your brush on these lovely items. But um, so we're going to be getting through them. We're gonna, I'm going to be showing you swatch of, us, of each one. But for this palette, essentially, you'll find it at Sephora. As always, Kat Von D products are exclusives to Sephora. It's $59, which, um, which I thought it was a really good deal because when you compare it to her normal palettes, like those normal size ones, um, those are $46, and they come with 12 shadows. This is for $13 more, you get 24 shadows. So at least you get twice as many. Now... With at least the colors, I only had so far an issue with the one, and that's just my personal preference. Um, and it's this one right here, and I'll be showing you the swatches, but this one um, right here, Echo, for that one, that was the only one that had very shimmery, just very micro glitters. So the problem is when I swatched it, it swatches nicely. However, you can even literally blow in your arm, and the glitters just get everywhere. It doesn't stay. So... I'm not a fan of glittery. I love metallics. Um, I like my mattes, but love, love, love metallics, especially dual chromes. Um, but that one just wasn't doing it for me just because it has glitter that does get everywhere. That's one thing I wish this had was dual chromes, but I know she's going to be coming out with uh, more fun palettes. So who knows? Maybe that's what's coming up next. But I'm going to be starting doing swatches with the ones right here. And these are the, at least the neutral colors that they have. Now with these, um, that's one thing that I wish was a little bit different. I wish there would have been a little bit more variety in the um, in the colors because these two are very similar to each other. These two highlighting colors are very similar. And then you have a dark black and a dark brown. And seriously, when you swatch like the dark brown or the dark black in your, on, like, on your eyelids, they look quite similar. So I just wish they would have had a mid-tone brown or something something else in there, but that's just me. So we'll get on to the swatches. Um, so let's see. So I'm going to start out. And this time I made nice, beautiful swatches for you. Yeah, I tried. But <laughs> this one here, it's called Strutter. Am I pronouncing it right? Strutter. And I'll be leaving the names here as always, just so that way if I butcher one, you can at least read what it's supposed to say. But that is the first one here on my arm. So that's the one. And then we have Lyric, and it's one of the highlighting colors here. Now this one you may not be able to tell on the camera here because it is very close to my skin tone. Um, it's just a little more opal, but... It's right here. 
it's in there somewhere. <laughs> Now the next one here, it is uh, Black Metal, which is the black shadow here. So that's that one right there. And as you can tell, this is, that was two or three swatches. Most of these were two or three swatches. Um, otherwise, if you did one, you're not gonna see the colors at all. Um, that's another thing. These are not crazy pigmented like some of our other shadows are. However, they do layer up very nicely, which is good because a lot of people were saying the other palettes scared them just because they're so pigmented. You do have to be careful and you have to work with them. I feel like these aren't so bad, actually. So, so yeah, you can venture out, play with these. They're not horribly pigmented like some of the other ones. All right, but the next one here that we have then is um, Skulls, which is another highlight. Now, this highlight is more white base, so you can actually tell it more on my skin. It turns out... At least in the camera, it looks a little more silver because of my skin tone and that white base. Then the next one here, it's called Noble. It's this one right here. Now, compared to Strutter, um, Noble is a bit more peachy tone. Strutter is more um, like cool tone, um, like grayish cool tone. But that was again Noble. Next one here is. Um, Molder. So we got Molder right there. And that was the one right here. And again, it's a bit closer to my skin tone, but it's a nice brow bone highlight for me at least. So I was quite happy about that. And then the last one, which is the darker brown, is called Vox. That's this one right here. And that is the last one here. So those were all of the neutral shadows. Okay, so then we're gonna get to the colors as I mentioned. So we're gonna start with these. We're gonna go the, this way. And the first one is called Rewind. And that is this one right here, the first one on the top. Then we have Destroyer. Which is the second one. And that's the one right here. Next one, which is a more pinkish color, is called Zoom. And that's this one right here. Then we have the one that I truly love right now, and it's called Love Twinky Dinkies. <laughs> That's the one right here. And I don't know if you can tell there on the camera the shimmery aspect of it, which I really enjoy. Then after that one, we have Anthem. Anthem. It's one thing about this palette, since it goes in a circle, sometimes all of a sudden the names just turn around so you can keep going, it's weird. But this is Anthem right here. Next one is the nice lilac color, it's called Muse. And that's the one right here. Then we have Echo, which is the one that I said I didn't quite like as much. Um, when you swatch it after you kind of apply with your brush, the glitters uh, do come off. However, you know, in the normal cases, you're putting these in your eyes and you don't want the glitter going off all over your face. So that will be Echo. And then the last one of the swatches is called Dark, Dark Wave. And that's the blue one right here. Now with all these, as you can tell, the colors are very nice. However, to get this, I did have to layer it. Um, mind you, I'm not using any sort of primer on this um, or anything with some of them, especially the ones down here. Any of the ones that have a little bit of a more shimmer aspect, I do love to use my Fix Plus on my 
um, on my brush and to swatch all these I am using my um, Coastal Scents uh, BRC S02 brush it is just a, a nice big shader brush um, but essentially with these I did have to layer it but with a good amount of them I don't like to use it on the ones that are really matte um, but most of them I did use Fix Plus to at least get it a little darker. But again, I'm not using any primer. So when you use primer, at least the colors do come out a little more vibrant, which always do help. So yeah, those were all so those. The next color that we have is called Synth. And that is the beautiful blue color right here. There's a close above it. More of a baby blue, um, well, darker baby blue if you want to call it. Nice sea blue, I guess. Then the next one here is Hyper Ballad. And this is a nice aqua color. Love this color. Here it is. The next beautiful one on here, it is a nice, 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 nice forest green, and it's called Lemmy. Again, it's this one right here. Then this color is called Misfit. And again, this is Misfit. Then the one right by it, it is called Vinyl. Okay. Then this shimmery one, which it is, um, quite sheer on me, but you can still tell here on the camera the color. Um, that one is called Legend. And it's this one right here. The next one, trying to go down the list, is called Fran. So this one's Fran. And that was the nice yellow one here. Then this nice orange one that is called Analog, which this one here. And then the last one on the list is called, oh, if I can only pronounce this, Harpsichord? Harpsichord? But it's this one right here. So you see, these are all of the brighter colors. So yeah, so those were all of the colors on the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. Um, let me know if you guys got this. Um, I know it went on sale at Sephora, then they took it off saying it was sold out and um, or not in stock. Um, I found mine at the Sephora at JCPenney's. They do have them, however, you do have to ask for them because they're in the back. Um, I did have to call around because one of them wouldn't sell it to me. They're like, yeah, we have it, but we won't sell it. The other one, they were really nice, held it for me and everything. Um, most of the holiday pack, um, holiday stuff is available already, but it's just in the stock room. It hasn't been out. So if you're interested in any of it, just ask the representatives. I mean, I never really had an issue with most of them. Um, so yeah, so this was this really fun palette. I'm excited. I mean, just looking at this arm, it's beautiful and can't wait to try to do more. All right, guys, and as these. always, thank you so much for your coming by. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and check out any of my other videos as well if you haven't done so already. And I hope I see you soon and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.